All right, last section of chapter 10, write and graph equations of circles. The standard equation of a circle. This is the standard equation of a circle with center hk and radius r. Be a good idea to memorize this one. Okay? All right, write an equation of a circle. Given this circle, the radius is 2, and the center is at 0, 0. So, this is your r, this is your h, this is your k. If you plug all three of these into this equation, you're going to get x minus 0. Here, I'll write this in here. You're going to get x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared equals 2 squared. This can just become x squared plus y squared, 2 squared. Um, I guess they want to put r there, so this becomes 2 squared which equals 4. So the equation of the circle is x squared plus y squared equals 4. Alright, you guys can do this one. Let's go on to page 2. Okay, once again the standard equation of a circle. Write the, st write the standard equation of a circle with center 0, negative 5, and radius 3.7. Alright, so here's our h and our k, and here's r. Let's just plug it in. x minus 0 e uh, squared plus y minus negative 5 squared equals 3.7 squared. This becomes positive, so I have y plus 5 squared. 3.7 squared, let's pull out a calculator. Thirteen point sixty-nine. Okay. There you go. All right. Let's try a harder one. The point negative three four is on a circle with center negative one two. Write the standard equation of a circle. All right. So we have the center, H K. What we don't have is the radius. Okay, and it's not a perfect number. We can't just count. So in order to find the radius, in order to find the distance between these two points, we're going to have to use the distance formula. Okay, so we're going to find the distance between the center and the point given. All right, just a reminder, the distance formula is the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Okay, so let's see here. We'll make this, um, let's go from the center to the point. So x1, y1, x2, y2. And we'll just plug it in. So negative 3 minus negative 1, 4 minus 2, this becomes positive. So we've got negative 2 squared plus 2 squared. So that's the square root of... 4 plus 4, so root 8. Root 8, if you do the tree, you get 2 times 2 times 2, so this is 2 root 2. Alright, so substitute hk equals negative 1, 2, and r equals 2 root 2 into the standard equation of a circle. x minus negative 1, y minus 2, 2 root 2 squared. This is x plus 1, y minus 2, and this is 8. So, this is the answer. Voila. Alright, let's go on to page 3. Okay, the equation of a circle is x minus 2 squared plus y plus 3 squared equals 16. Graph the circle. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite the equation to find the center and the radius y plus 3 is like y minus negative 3, and this is like 4 squared. So, the center is 2, 3, I'm sorry, negative 3, and the radius is 4. We don't need to use a compass, we can just graph it. So, 2, negative 3 is the center, and it's going to be... Mm, oh, I'm sorry, actually, these are 2. Each of these lines are worth two, not one. My bad. So this is going to be about here. So I'll go up to over to 
over to so a circle about like this it doesn't need to be perfect that's fine okay you guys can do the checkpoint let's go on to the last page okay time capsule you bury a time capsule and use a grid to write directions for finding it. Use the following measurements to find the burial location of the time capsule. Okay, the capsule is about 11 feet from an oak from the oak tree at A00. So here is A00. It's 11 feet from the oak tree, so somewhere 11 feet away is the time capsule. The capsule is 8 feet from the flagpole at B08. So each of these lines are 4. So 08 would be here. So 8 feet in some direction. The capsule is 4 feet from the mailbox at C128. So 4 feet So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to draw all three of these circles. And I'm going to see where these circles intersect. I'm going to redraw this A. So, A is 11 feet. So I got 4, 8, this is 12. So it's not quite that far. 4, 8. Once again, it really doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be about right. Okay. Um, B, it was 8 feet away, so it's a little bit easier. Yeah. There we go, and C was 4 feet away. So, close enough. These all should intersect somewhere here. Let's see. So, circle A with center 0, 0, and radius 11. B with center 0, 8, and radius 8. C with center negative 12, 8, and radius 4. To find the burial location, graph the circles on a graph, which we just did, where all the units are measured in feet. Estimate the point of intersection of all three circles. Okay, it's hard to tell. They actually intersect there at this point, which is negative 8, 8. Alright, and you can do the last checkpoint. That's all.